Hello, welcome to episode six of the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programmers podcast. My name is Graham Lee, uh, and our topic this week, more retro computing, it's the Highsoft C compiler for the ZX Spectrum. So let's get straight into it. So I was asked about the uh, Highsoft C compiler, and here is my Spectrum emulator. Let's load the Highsoft C compiler. This will look incredibly quick because I'm using an emulated Spectrum, and the emulator knows to skip the loading thing. It just speeds up the CPU speed. Um, I didn't have a micro drive corrected, so I'm going to select no here and just get straight into the compiler. So here it is, and this is looks a lot like the basic prompt. Um, this isn't an interpreter, this is actually a C compiler, but what we're uh, doing is typing code directly into the compiler now. Uh, so if I type something that doesn't exist, uh, it's going to try and parse that and return the error. So I'll create the name of a struct that doesn't exist. Uh, there is no struct foo. Um, and it says missing curly bracket because it wants to define the struct. And now it's just brought me back to the, uh, the beginning of the compiler. It's effectively forgotten uh, all of the code that I wrote. So let's write something that will work. Now this is um, Kerrigan and Ritchie C. Uh, this compiler, you can see copyright date 1984, uh, predates the ANSI C standard C89. Um, and I haven't included the standard I.O. header. Uh, and that's because the compiler gives us access to a bunch of the, um, the standard library functions as built-ins. Uh, we don't need to include the header. If I, if I did type hash includes the I.O.H., it would look on the tape uh, to try and find that file. But here's my uh, program, you know, good old fashioned hello world. Uh, and uh, this this just like exists in the compiler uh, at the moment. What we want to do is just run it. So I press uh, symbol shift I, which gives me the, um, the, the special uh, box graphic that uh, the Highsoft C compiler uses to denote end of file. And then it will uh, know that it's comp uh, that there's no more code to come, and will just uh, give me the option to run the executable. So the, there is a side B to the tape that includes the standard header uh, and includes the standard library. I don't need uh, cap shift I. I need symbol shift I. There we go. And I can press Y, and it will run uh, Hello World. This program has now been compiled and is in the memory of the spectrum. There it goes, and I can type that as many times as I want uh, and rerun the program or press a different key to uh, quit. So there is the Highsoft C compiler for the ZX Spectrum. Okay, so it, it was already impressive that there's a C compiler and some of the C function library in um the in the spectrum's memory and there's enough space left to compile my c code and run it uh but there's also a c uh well not a c editor but a text editor a line based editor in uh highsoft c as well so there's both the compiler and the editor are resident and we're looking at the editor right now uh spoiler alert this is the solution to the first of the project Euler problems, which asks us to sum all of the multiples of three and five uh, between uh, one and a thousand. Now, uh, just to show there's no tricks up my sleeve, uh, I'll go back to the compiler um, and uh, I'll show you that we can indeed use that source file that's in the editor in the compiler we can compile this C and it's not going to work for reasons that we'll look at. Um, this is Kunnigan and Ritchie C so uh, if you look at lines uh, 60 and 70 you may not be familiar with that syntax. Um, we haven't given a function prototype for the sum to function uh, it's uh, just implicitly uh, declared which means that the return type is assumed to be an int uh, and then when we declare the function, uh, sorry, when we define the function, we uh, don't explicitly give the parameter type 
in the function uh, like uh, signature in the um, in the function definition. That is given in a separate statement uh, between that definition line and the, <clears throat> and the block of statements that represents the function body. Uh, but everything else uh, is just C. I typed this in already because typing on a Spectrum keyboard is incredibly difficult, uh, particularly when you're using a PC keyboard that doesn't have all of the different characters for the Spectrum layout printed on the keys. Now, the Spectrum had two different shift keys, cap shift and symbol shift, and you would get different behavior uh, depending on the combination of these shift keys that you use. And it's just really hard to remember that uh, when you're using an emulated Spectrum. So I typed this code in uh, in advance. Now, the way that we use the editor file in the Highsoft compiler is to just hash include without giving a file name. If I gave a file name here, it would try to find that file on the tape, which doesn't exist because I've just got the compiler tape in. Uh, so I'm going to use the editor file and you'll see uh, there's an error. It says restriction, use assignment or move to initialize automatics. Uh, what this means is that this compiler doesn't let us do something that is a facility in the C language. We are allowed to uh, declare and define a variable uh, on the same line uh, but that that feature just isn't implemented in this compiler so let's see how we fix that uh, we use this um, the, the compiler and the editor both use this weird set of um, like box graphic characters that the spectrum has as control characters so to get into the editor I press shift and one uh, which gives me this box and it puts me in edit mode uh, so let's list the program and we can see that line 90 is wrong uh, in that it's not accepted by high soft C compiler let's uh, correct that so I go to insert beginning at line 90 uh, and finding the correct uh, colon character there we go see what I mean about it being difficult to type on a spectrum when you're not actually looking at a real spectrum keyboard uh, and we'll go up in increments of two. So we want to declare those variables. That's not in increments of two. Thank you, compiler. So what we'll do is we'll exit there. Uh, let's insert a line at line 91. And we'll say that uh, I equals zero on that line. And uh, now let's do it in line 92. What uh, it should have done is use the two as the range of uh, the increments and line numbers. So I was expecting to enter lines 90, 92, 94. Uh, obviously that didn't work, but I can uh, just work around that by entering line 92. So we want to um, set sum to zero. And you'll notice I'm using that same shift one uh, box graphic character uh, to get out of insert mode. So now if we list the um, the code, we see that we've separated out this uh, declaration of these two um, local variables, automatic variables, from their initialization. Now I'm hoping that this works, so I'm going to press C to go back to compiler mode. I'm going to include the editor file again no errors, so uh, all should be good. Symbol shift and I is the end of the file, so now it wants to run it. Now that's uh, interesting. The correct answer according to Project Euler is uh, 233,168. If you're taking part in Project Euler and haven't completed level one yet, then I apologize. Uh, I've just ruined it for you. Uh, but um, what we've got is minus 28,976. Why is that? It's because the int type in a, a, in a program in Highsoft C is only 16 bits wide. 
Uh, we even used a, a, a signed type there. Int is uh, signed by default. So uh, it wrapped when it got to um, 32,000 and some. And, uh, and so the uh, eventual calculation was wrong. But there it is anyway. There is the editor in the HighSoft C compiler. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much for uh, for watching. This is the first ever video podcast from the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programmers. And of course, I always welcome your feedback. Uh, you can uh, send me an email. My name is Graham at iamleg.com, G-R-A-H-A-M at I-A-M-L-E-G.com. Or you can send me a tweet, I was Lee G, I-W-A-S-L-E-G. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.